Okay, hi everybody. Today we're working on the organization, organization of an essay into paragraphs. You have already watched the paragraph writing. You have organized and written your paragraph. And I am going to now show you a model of how to revise your paragraphs, to review and reflect on your writing. Remember, you can have your sticky notes out if you need to. Um, when you're done and you need to revise, there is the timer. So I'm going to go to my rough draft. And again, I'm going to remind you to review your, the rubric. It is a guide to aid you in your writing. And when we're writing the paragraph, um, we want to make sure we have a topic sentence that identifies the para, para, paragraph's focus and it expands on the topic. It gives us another place to go to. We have quotation. We cited our sources. Um, we give an interpretation. We justify opinions, reasons, and evidence. Do all your sentences relate to the topic sentence? Have you included enough evidence? And is it coherent or does it make sense? So here is the rough draft of one of my paragraphs. I'm going to go through with you the revisions I made. And they're in purple. So here, I noticed I didn't have a transitional word or phrase. Remember, that's in the second column of your rubric. So I added furthermore, Susan B. Anthony is considered the principal organizer of the women's suffrage movement in the United States. It just used S at US, and I felt this was more formal, so I fixed it. And gave it force and direction for nearly half a century. In May 1890, the National American Women's Suffrage Association was formed, which became the largest, most influential influential suffrage organization in the United States. Again, I made it more formal and I spelled out US. Susan B. Anthony was a, was a dominant figure of the organization. By the time of her death in 1906, women had achieved suffrage in a few states and several followed soon after. In 1878, along with, notice they just use the last names. I added in their full names, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Stanton Susan B. Anthony, because I just felt it made more sense and felt more professional, had arranged for the presentation of an amendment in Congress, which gave women the right to vote. Popularly known as the Susan B. Anthony Am Amendment, it later became the 19th Amendment to the United States. Again, I, I spelled out United States Constitution in 1920, which granted the women the right to vote. I put in my in-text citation because I had it. And then here, you'll notice I added a sentence. As the evidence indicates, Susan B. Anthony was a driving force in obtaining women's right to vote. This felt like when I finished here, it, it was loose. It, it, it wasn't cohesive enough. It didn't hold together. So I added the sentence here. And then it had a whole bunch of extra information, I felt. Anthony and Stanton established the newspaper, The Revolution, and it went on about that. I had already worked on my three pieces of evidence. So what I did was I added this sentence, and then I highlighted, and I made it purple, and then I formatted the text, and I struck through it. I may need this later, but at this time, I felt it made more sense to get rid of it. So again, I don't get rid of everything. Um, do this to all three of your paragraphs. Remember, you have your sticky notes. You have Explore to help you. And you got this. Thank you for listening.